I am Dr. Arish Innes, Consultant, Laparoscopic Surgeon and Surgical Gastroenterology. I am the Founder and Director of IMAS. I am going to talk about the varicose veins. In a normally, the patient says a enlarged nerves in the leg. The patient will have a pain and a bluish colored veins in the leg. These are called varicose veins. In our medical terminology, varicose veins are the abnormally dilated, tortuous veins in the legs. What are veins? The veins supply impure blood from the leg towards heart. So if there is any abnormality in the valves which are present in the veins that causes a dilatation means that is an enlargement of the veins in the legs that is called varicose vein. So usually the patient will be asymptomatic except the swelling in the leg which are bluish in color and multiple a swellings in the whole leg. So patient will have a symptoms when the severity of the varicosity increases. What are the symptoms of the patient with a varicose veins? These are all a vague pain in the both the legs as the day progresses. The patient will not have any pain in the morning. After standing for a long time, the patient will develop a vague pain in both the legs as the day progresses, that is in the evening. And the pain reduces when the patient lies down in the night. Sometimes the patient may have a complications like ulcers in the leg which are not healing since long time and uh, changes in the skin that is called blackish discoloration, hyperpigmentation in the skin. So the patient visit at first a dermatologist for a hyperpigmentation of the skin that is blackish discoloration of the skin. So what are the risk factors for the varicose vein? Varicose vein are common in a patient's with a long-standing occupation like a bus conductors, like a security guards, even for the surgeons. So the treatment of varicose veins is very simple if you diagnose early. Usually we diagnose by clinical examination the patient whether they have a varicosities of long saphenous vein and short saphenous vein and what are the severity of the varicose vein. Then we do suggest a Doppler scan for the leg that will give a, a proper diagnosis of varicose veins. Once we got a diagnosis of varicose vein, we treat most of the varicose veins conservatively. We advise the patient to avoid long standing, sitting intermittently and we advise varicose veins stocking uh, either above knee or below knee varicose vein stockings. So most of the patients will be relieved by these measures. If the patient will not have a relief of with this conservative management, we do advise some a simple procedures that is called laser procedures and some small open procedures. Usually the laser procedures are very simple and these are the daycare surgeries. We do a Doppler scan, we identify the abnormal veins. We do a, a laser procedure for the same. The patient will have a cure and the, the recurrence is very less in laser treatment.